when you sat down with DICE and, and talked through where you wanted to go with Battlefield, was it instantly like, guys, I know what's hot right now, it's cops and criminals? Really from the get-go, when, when we were talking with the folks at DICE, the, the idea of cops and criminals was kind of the thing that they thought was cool and we thought was cool and that we really got excited about. And so we really just jumped in on that. And I think what's what's cool about the cops and criminals setting is it, like you said, I mean, it's very popular in terms of the TV shows, the movies, et cetera, but it's also relatable and it's also something that I think, you know, the whole good guys, bad guys, you know, the, those two factions really work well for a video game. Next time on Hardline, you heard new partner. She do that karate for you yet. When you break it up into the episodic setup, do you find that there are new challenges in terms of the writing, in terms of the structure? Yeah, I mean, I think that was actually one of the things that, you know, when we started digging into the writing of the story, we thought it would be good to connect with experts. And so we, we actually partnered with Wendy Calhoun, one of the writers for Justified, and she came in and looked at our high-level treatment for our story and then worked with us to kind of massage things so it felt more like an episode of TV. Next time on Hardline. We did bring in a, a consultant, 25 years of LA SWAT experience, who also understands, though, the kind of cinematic vibe we're doing. All the actors in the game got a chance to go to a shooting range with an expert in firearms that kind of showed them the proper way to carry a weapon, the way to fire a weapon. You know, actually, it was pretty funny. At one of those shoots, one of our guys actually let himself get tased. I don't know why he would do that, but it's pretty funny. We have that on video. So uh, our lead actor who plays Stoddard and our lead animator were both brave people, and uh, Stoddard, if you watch him, uh, Travis Willingham, the actor, big strapping guy, barrel chested. He gets up there, and you know, I'm sort of holding him, and our animator's holding the other side. Give me a nod when you're ready. Oh, it sucks a lot! <laughs> <laughs> so our animator thought, well, I mean, geez, I can't, I'm half a man now if I don't step up and, and take it as well. And um, the effects on him were a little more pronounced. Okay. You sure can me a nod when you're ready? Ah! <laughs> and you can sense the you, in his screams you can hear the immediate regret of volunteering to to be tased that way but it was really great reference for the rest of the development to so make sure our animations of people getting tased had that dose of realism go, go! Given all of these different bits of inspiration that you've been taking from, are there any little Easter eggs, if you will? I think Dead Space fans will find some things. Oh, wow, the line gun is fantastic. You'll also see some call-outs, like there are a few stores and stuff in the world named things like Sweetwater or Marlowe or things that sort of resonate for Battlefield fans. The In episode two takes place, there's a hotel called the Hotel Elmore as a, as a nod for Elmore Leonard, that kind of stuff. But for the big ones, we're trying to sort of make our own path. The main location is, is LA. Miami and LA. It's Miami and LA, okay. Uh -huh. So so was it specifically that you wanted to make it an American crime drama? Was there any talk of taking it beyond the borders? There was, we had a bunch of stuff. You know, in all of game making, in the beginning you dream big. So we had all kinds of stuff that we wanted to do that still in my mind would be really, really cool and I hope we get to get to it at some point. The other thing about Miami and LA is because they're such cinematic icons, they're really world cities. Everybody all around the world knows Miami and LA and they feel like they've been there even if they haven't and they resonate and they're part of so many people's fantasies, whether they're crime drama or just travel, they, they just sort of have, they're, they're evocative and they work. So they were really natural choices and uh, it doesn't hurt that we were able to go there pretty easily and do all the exhaustive research and scanning that we need to do to really bring them to life.